Good morning everybody. We're in my car. I've got out the house because you know what? I woke up this morning and it's another heat wave. I'm pretty convinced that England's gonna just turn into a puddle at this point. But I woke up and I was like, you know what? No, I do not accept the heat wave. I want spooky season. I want Halloween. I want sweaters. I want pumpkin spice lattes. Not that I like those, but I appreciate all the excitement surrounding it and I like watching other people with their pumpkin spice lattes. I, I'm in the mood for candles. I'm basically rejecting summer. So I have driven all the way to my local home sense. It's also a TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you're in America. So I'm gonna take you on a little shop with me. I'm gonna show you what they've got. Now there is pretty much one thing that I need and that is two scatter cushions for my living room in a kind of like ivory cream color because I, I need more cushions what can I say um but that's it but I know what I'm like and I have heard that spooky season stuff has been stocked so let's go take a little look so here we are Home Sense, the shop of dreams, the shop that I should be banned from because it makes my bank account weep each time I go in. As soon as I entered the doors, I could see the Halloween section. This is a very good sign. There are candles everywhere of every color, every scent. And I, I just knew I was in heaven. Do I need more candles? No. Did I buy some? Yes, I even found Ray Dunn candles. I kinda liked their minimalist design, but I did leave them. First things first, I got myself a trolley. Is this a good idea? No, because it means that I'm going to end up filling it. And lo and behold, I absolutely did. I found these pumpkins. There was an entire pumpkin section. There were velvet pumpkins, glass pumpkins, and I was really on the hunt for a sage green pumpkin. And I thought that I'd found one here, but it did have kind of gold bits. Wasn't really sure about it, so I did leave it. But then, I found this one. It was kind of like a sagey gray color and I was like, this will fit on theme in my living room. And seriously, how much Halloween stuff is there? More candles, there was, it was like a candle treasure trove. They even had like all of these kitchen bits. So you've got like tea towels, we've got oven mitts for spooky season. And if you've got pets, well, they've got you sorted in there as well because there was an entire pet section and it really made me want to have a dog, but never mind. I was really tempted by some of these bowls. I really liked the cobweb design. I did actually put it in my trolley, but I put it back. Uh, this mug is coming home with me and there were just so many spooky mugs and I had to control myself because I've got a mug problem. Look at this one with like the hands, the spooky hands. I was like, yes, I love that. Then I found the cushion section and I was tempted because I do love a good scatter cushion to the point that I just put three in my trolley. They even had all of these throws. I was tempted by that black one with skulls on. But yeah, they've got a lot of Halloween cozy things, which is always good. This one was nice, but it was unpackaged. This ended up going in my trolley too. I could not resist that little face. Um, <laughs> yeah, they had so much baking stuff, loads of silicon spatulas for all of your spooky autumnal baking. And look, I told you I've got a candle problem. This one was really cute. I liked the tarot lid and the design of it. And this one was quite cute as well. It had a little owl on top. I was tempted by that, but I didn't really like the scent. <laughs> but there were just so many and I could have sniffed every candle in store. This one was cute. I liked the gold foiling. I just liked the label design. And yeah, I then found an even bigger Halloween section. I was like, it never ends. They're really going hardcore on Halloween this year and it pleases me because they went last year and I could barely find anything. This candle's cute. That's coming home with me as well. <laughs> and there was just so many nice bits and bobs. I quite liked these bowls with the owls in, but I left them for somebody else because I didn't need them. I quite liked these little owl ramekin dishes too. I just love owls in case you didn't know but yeah they had so much stuff and I'm back at the candles again I've got a problem I quite like some of the limited edition candles but here's a little view of some of the I was about to say flavors but some of the scents that you can find in home scents um, in the candle bits this one it tempted me it did it did tempt me there were even like little candles that had prints on which I quite liked and honestly I was I was pretty overwhelmed with all of the new season stuff but I 
I controlled myself and I started looking around the rest of the store. Now, I adore the stationery sections. I think they are, it's just the happy place, isn't it? And I didn't actually get any stationery this time because I recently did buy some notebooks, but as you can see, they've got some nice ones in at the moment. And I thought you guys might like to see that they've got these kind of mouse pad notepads so that you can doodle and have it on your desk. I quite liked the Luna theme of this one. And for those Disney lovers out there, they did have some Disney ones too, which I thought was pretty cool. Cushions. One of the main reasons I came to HomeSense in the first place was cushions and I love that they have them in colour order. It makes it so easy to find the style that you're looking for. Unfortunately, this was the ivory section and nothing was speaking to me so I ended up not getting any. I did quite like this one but I knew it wasn't quite right so I did leave it. Now speaking of funky cushions, I found this one that I really didn't want to leave in the store. If this was a sage this would have come home with me and it was 29.99 but how beautiful and magical and divination oh my god i needed it but i controlled myself now one of my favorite sections is the home accessories this is where i get anything that i have in my home that looks like it belongs in dumbledore's office kind of like this magnifying glass 4.99 is a bargain let me tell you but I, this is where i bought my armillary sphere from which lives on my bookcase in my living room if you've seen that but sometimes they have some really cool things in there which just scream magic. Unfortunately, they didn't this time. They did have this really weird unicorn kind of balloon dog bookend thing, which amused me. And hey, you thought the candle section had ended in Spookyville? You were incorrect. They've got normal candles as well. And I was very tempted. Sand and Fog, by the way, if you do go to HomeSense or TK Maxx, TJ Maxx, look out for the Sand and Fog brand because they are the best smelling candles that they sell. And they're always the ones that I look out for. Another section that I'd never seen before, which made me gasp, were these Halloween kind of rugs. Like, there were so many of them. They were definitely indoor rugs. They weren't the ones that were made out of cork um, or coconut, you know what I mean. This one I was really tempted by, but then I was like, am I really gonna use it? Probably not, so I left it. Something that I always go and have a look at is the Denby section. I know that makes me sound really posh and like a grandma, but their pasta bowls are my favorite. And these are the exact ones that I have. I have like a full set. They're $4.99, discounted from 16 pounds each, which is such a steal. So if you're in the market for that, you know where to get them. Their food section as well is always really interesting. They do loads of interesting, like different pastas and all sorts. This fish, made me laugh a lot it's kind of just <laughs> i just imagined it in the shop and it's like oh yeah um i was tempted they had a different color in it as well but it just made me laugh <laughs> more mugs except this time they weren't spooky mugs and yep i found another one oh somebody control me i need to take someone shopping so that i stop buying mugs and candles but here we are i really liked this wood section i'm not sure what these were maybe like fruit bowls but i loved that they were real wood and had that nice nature vibe i was tempted i was tempted now i looked in their cleaning section and i obviously beelined for the Zaflora. This disinfectant is great. And also this is my favorite Zaflora, which is such a steal at £2.49. It lasts forever. And this is what I clean my kitchen with. It smells delicious, let me tell you. Now, funny story. I came across all of these stools and I couldn't help but think of the TikTok when people were saying that so many people use these as like pooping stools to help them go to the loo and I left them in the shop though, don't worry. Now I did have a look at the furniture. I kind of fell in love with this bookcase a little bit, I'm not going to lie. I was really tempted and then I was like, do they deliver? But then I looked at the price tag and it was £250 so I was like, mm, I'll leave it even though it's really pretty and would look good in my guest room. But you know, I cut my losses, never mind, but look how nice it was. Now, baskets. Basket heaven. This is where I get my blanket baskets from. They also had some trunks, which caught my eye, but the baskets are so good for storage if you like to be cozy in your living room. A lot of you guys asked me where I got mine from. If you haven't checked out my living room tour, go check it out. But I got it from here, and there's so many to choose from. This, by the way, is my hamper that I store my bath bombs in, in my bathroom. So I know loads of you guys wanted to know where it's from. They still have them, so get down to home have a little look. 
at this point in the store, I was like, my trolley's looking kind of full, I should probably go check out now. So I took my trolley, I went downstairs, and I checked out. I'm back in the car. I, <laughs> yeah, I had to do a voiceover because the music in there was gonna get me copyright striked. But either way, I hope you had a little mooch around of me and liked what you saw. I'm gonna head home now, and I'm gonna show you what I bought. I definitely bought more than planned. I am home. I did some damage. <laughs> I didn't even get the cushions that I really wanted to go for because they just didn't have the right ones. So I tried. What can I say? So I did end up coming away with a few bags. It's been a while since I've been to HomeSense and I believe the last time that I went I always say that it's either a good time or a bad time at HomeSense. Either you want the entire store or there's not much there at all. There doesn't seem to be an in-between and it's usually, well, today was clearly one of those days that I wanted everything because they had all of the autumn, the spooky things and I was in my element. I'm really glad that I went today. Let's get on with the haul. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start with <laughs> a pillow set I saw this and I gasped I was like oh um I've always quite enjoyed the idea of those kind of leaf those green leaf cushions so the fact that I saw some autumnal ones in a set like we've got a green leaf we've got an a yellow leaf a mustard if you like and then we've got like a red leaf as well I'm gonna keep them wrapped up for now but I cannot wait to create like an autumnal leaf display and make my room, like my living room, feel really cozy. And this green does actually go with the theme, so I'm quite pleased about those. Um, I They feel really good as well. So yes, these cost £29.99, so it's about £10 or £9.99 per cushion. They're really like chunky and thick and they're like this faux suede and they've got all the nice detailing on them. And look, there's even like, you could use that as like a little decoration when you take it off. That's so cute. Very pleased with those. Did I need more cushions of that kind in my life? No. Um, did I need a bat cushion? <laughs> I couldn't leave him in the shop. I know that come Halloween, he's gonna be living his best bat life on this chair. It's so cute. I have a problem. This is $12.99. It's a decorative pillow. He's a little bat. He just, his little face, his little face just fills me with so much joy. And... When something brings you that much joy, you have to adopt it. So I'm surprised I don't have like a million pets by now. Now I need to have a word with myself because there was two things that I definitely did not need to buy more of and that is mugs and candles, especially mugs because I have a mug in mug out rule. So I now have to get rid of not one but two mugs. Let me show you which mugs I bought. It takes a lot for me to purchase a mug these days because I have enough already especially as I live on my own like I there's only one me but so many mugs this one wasn't the first one I picked up but this is this is four pounds 99 and it was just giving autumn vibes it's the really nice shape you know what it is it's my perfect mug shape I'm a sucker for these kind of like dumpy short mugs with like a wide top like I just love them look goes with the living room. And the second mug, you guys will understand why I had to get this if you're an autumn fan like I am. This was also $4.99. It speaks for itself. Look at it. This just screamed autumn to me and it's got like a brown little enamel inside. Loved it. Did I need these? No, I didn't. Did I want them? Absolutely. So I've got two autumnal mugs ready. Ready for uh, September, October, November. Oh, I forgot how much I loved autumn. I did see their giant display of pumpkins when I walked in and I was like, oh, if only they had like a sage green one. And lo and behold, though in this light, it looks more gray 
but in the shop it looked sage. Either way, it's still nice. This is um, $7.99, it's a decorative pumpkin. Again, do I need more pumpkins? No. If you've seen the box, which you haven't, I know you haven't, but if you'd see the box in my garage at the moment, I have a Halloween big plastic box and it's got many pumpkins of different varieties in. I definitely didn't need to add another one, but I liked it. Now it did have a few scuffs on it and I did take a moment in the shop to see if like any marks would kind of like buff out and I think they will so I'm not too mad about it but I just thought this was perfect for the living room with all the greens and the neutrals. This is going on where the fireplace is, the kind of log burner. It's going to go on the bottom all decorative. Oh it's velvet. It's... stop buying pumpkins Cherry. You buy them every year. <sighs> bought four candles. Okay, I'm officially on a candle ban. If any of you guys see me physically showing you a candle that I've purchased over the next year, you have permission to tell me off because this is too much. Okay, let's start with this one. Um, this was a limited edition and it's got like a little, look at that plaque, look at it. Limited edition, autumn leaves. And it has this like knocker thing on the top. This is 9 99 but I am just so in love with autumn. <laughs> I smelt this and I was just transported to my happy place. And I, it just, it, it's double wicked. I, it, I have no excuses, I'm sorry. This one I bought because it's beautiful. We adore that detailing on there with this kind of acorn leaf, there's an acorn on there as well, and this is an apple cider hand poured candle. It says aromatic herbs and earthy woods combined with a fresh crisp apple and warm spices. This is 10.99 and it smells like cozy autumn days and you've just been given a slice of apple pie. Candle number three, this is the Mystic Oracle Scarlet Pumpkin Scented Candle. This is the label, isn't it nice? It kind of reminds me of a tarot card. And then the lid was a black cat, and a black cat is definitely on my bucket list one day. I'm gonna get it and call it Lucifer. It wasn't one of those candles that is offensively pumpkin scented. I'm not really into the whole pumpkin spice latte scent um, and like really strong kind of autumny baked good candles, if you know what I mean? The ones that smell like food. It's not really for me, but this one was like subtle pumpkin and I really liked it and it's beautiful. And again, imagining these lit in my lounge. All of these are for this room and there's only one. Yeah. This one caused me a little bit of trouble in the store because it didn't have a price and then I went to go and get the other one. That one didn't have a price either. I was like, I'm so sorry. And it took everything within me to not be that person that was like, does that mean it's free then? It wasn't free. He charged me $6.99 for it, but... <laughs> it's a pumpkin candle and look, Look, double wick and sage, sage green. And it, and think how cute this storage pot is going to be once it's burnt and then I can just use it as a little trinket dish. So it's multi-purpose and 6 99 for that. I'm definitely not mad about it. And the wicks, are the wicks okay? Yes, the wicks are okay. <sighs> that one does smell a little bit pumpkin spice latte, but either way, Cute, love that. I have, I, was, I need to go to Candle and Mugs Anonymous. I need to go to Halloween Anonymous, let's be real. Okay, two more items. This was, def I mean, they were all impulse purchases, let's be real. But this one is something that I wouldn't normally buy, but this was $7.99, it's a fruit basket. And it's a little spooky fruit basket. It looks like a spider's web. And I was like, I want my fruit in that, in Halloween or like put candy in there and that kind of thing in like bags and it's got a little skull on the bottom and I just loved it. <laughs> there was I think only two, was this the last one actually? I don't remember, there was like one or two of these left and I just thought now that's a fruit bowl. Um, so it came home with me. Now last but not least um, I picked up, I've never had a Carmex lip balm before 
but it's pineapple mint. I'm not sure I'd usually put those two things together, but I really wanted to try it. So I got myself a little lip balm and this was 2 99 What a bargain. Honestly, HomeSense is my favorite store, if you couldn't tell already. There were a few bits and pieces of like furniture that I liked and yeah, there was just a lot to enjoy. And it's always nice when you haven't been there for a while and then you feel like you're in some sort of treasure trove. It's like the room of requirement and I'm just like, yes. I instantly, my mood was lifted as soon as I walked through the doors. Anyway, that's everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this little shop with me in this style of video. Let me know if you did like it by giving this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite thing that you saw from my haul? Or maybe there's something that you saw in the shop. I would love to know, let's have a conversation. I uh, cannot wait to do another, should I do another one of these for Christmas? I need to find out when they get their Christmas stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you soon. Okay, I'm gonna go find some homes for these because I don't want to put them out just yet because it's not Halloween just yet, but we're getting near. I've got to go ditch some mugs. Bye guys. <laughs>